Hello and welcome to this feature presentation about the new feature in Prestress 6.7. It is torsion and in this presentation we will go through the non hollow core elements. We have introduced a feature called the priority based reinforcement layout and this is basically the two options to enter the reinforcement that you place the reinforcement in the priority order. So if you have the torsion as a higher priority, then you start with a longitudinal reinforcement. But if you have the bending moment as a priority, then you use the layer of reinforcement. And the layer of reinforcement is the already existing feature to place the initial uh, placement of the strands that's mainly used for moment capacity. While the longitudinal reinforcement places longitudinal bars for the torsional design. If we take a closer look at the longitudinal reinforcement, it is in this dialog possible to place the initial reinforcement and that is placing bars in critical points around the cross section. It is possible after the initial placement uh, to change the area or the number of bars. If the bars collide with pre-stressing strands, there will be given a visual warning shown here as red dots. The theory behind the uh, torsion is according to EN 1992-1-1, chapter 6.3. And for the uh, second part of the torsional reinforcement, we need also the torsional stirrups. And here it is recommended to make an automatic design of the stirrups, which will uh, design both the uh, stirrups for shear, but also the stirrups for torsion. As for the torsional moment, it is applied on the element as a load with eccentricity. And the uh, eccentricity can be given with different reference points to, from either the right, left, or the centroidal axis, or the top mid of the beam. When inspecting the load afterwards, it is possible to toggle between the element and the section in order to see uh, the placement uh, graphically as well. There is a new analytical result and that is the torsion that we have uh, implemented. So it's now also possible to look at the torsional moments. As for the design, we have uh, increased the uh, uh, control here with uh, a few code checks with regards to the torsional capacity. We have the transverse capacity of the torsion and we have the longitudinal capacity uh, of the torsional reinforcement. These torsional results will only be available if there is torsion in the element.